Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here. All right, so today I am going to be going over a beginner's guide for trust stones. Um, I'm gonna be doing uh, two different videos for this. The first video, this one right here, is going to be phase one. It's gonna just focus on how to create a set of trust stones for your TMR and unlock the basic set bonuses, which are uh, extremely helpful for PVP, PVE, all areas of the game and they are really not hard to make. This is gonna be super simple, and I really highly encourage uh, everyone to at least do this part. Uh, in the phase two building of Trust Stones, it does get kind of uh, a lot more complicated and a lot more grind intense, um, but we'll cover that in a, in a second video coming later. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna get into is where you can farm and, and get Trust Stones. So if you go to the far plane, you go to events, you go to day training. And if you go to the trust zone chamber, it's always gonna be here at the top. Every single day, the two times drop is gonna change from one of these to another one. So today is triumph. I'm guessing tomorrow is idealism, then aspiration, then justice, prosperity, and glory. Um, so if you farm this, like for me, when I'm looking to farm uh, whichever one I'm looking for, I will just run it overnight on auto repeat. Uh, it does take uh, a good amount of energy large pots but if you're just looking to uh, create the set bonuses um, it won't take too much and I think from the Persona 5 event we all got 20 shards for each type which is really helpful so I'm just going to skip 10 really quick just to show you essentially what you get okay just going to spin through here all right so you are going to get blue trust stone shards green a bunch of adamantite and purple ones okay the purple ones are going to be used to convert into pink which is you are uh, and the green and the blue ones you're going to forge those into trust stones and then um, essentially use those trust stones to feed into uh, the trust stone that you have built in order to increase the passive level but i will cover more of that in the next video in this segment so let's get back to it um, from there you can go to the item exchange shop if you're trying to make uh, UR trust stones, you would just go in here. Um, we were working on uh, Triumph. So if you click the, the UR trust stone right here and click Upward Exchange, um, you can just transfer your purple ones into pink ones. So this, I have 25, that's gonna make one. Okay. And you're gonna need 20 shards total to make a single UR trust stone. I'm not going to convert the blue or the green ones. We're just going to keep those there for now. But to go over to equipment, I'm going to go to a trust stone. And I'm going to go to this right here. Okay, so as you can see, you have three different, you have two sides, right? We have I, L. For some reason, this L is supposed to be justice. It's supposed to be a J, but it's backwards. Uh, so we're just going to call it L for now, but that is justice trust stones. <laughs> So we have L, I, L, and P. That is going to be one side and you have six different set bonuses that you can achieve or uh, choose from for one side. Then on the other side, A, T, and G, you're gonna have six other types that you can get. So if you go down here, you'll see right here, the first six are gonna be what you can get on the left side or choose from on the left side. And the next ones are gonna be what you can get on the right side. So we have max HP up plus 5%. As you can see, if you have a set of two, it's gonna give you max HP plus 5%, and a set of three is gonna give you max HP plus 5% slash all elemental attack resist plus five. So when you're building trust stones, you always wanna choose which set you're going for and then make three of the same type in the corresponding letter, if that makes sense. So like, for example, um, if I was shooting for, you know, uh, like a tank or someone like that, I might go for like, okay, I'm gonna build three HP stones on the left. And then on the right side, which starts down here at AP, um, you know, you could go for AP, attack, magic, dexterity, agility, maybe agility is good. Um, and then, you know, I would say, okay, I'm gonna make three HP stones on the left. I'm gonna make three agility stones on the right. Then at the bare minimum, you just forge the stones. You don't need to level them up. You don't need to do anything crazy. You will get agility plus three and evade plus five along with the HP plus 5% slash the all elemental attack resistance plus five. So um, if we go into trust stones right here and we go to forge, I have enough to build a single set on the right side. So I'm gonna go to A. Uh, 
I don't know why they didn't just put these, they kind of go back and forth. Uh, so for example, it would have been simpler if this was I, then L, then P, uh, but it goes I and then jumps over to A, then back to L, then jumps to T, then goes back to P and then over to G. Um, for right now, I'm just gonna focus the right side. As you can see, A has these six types to choose from, or it's actually seven. Um, but if I go back to I, so like right here on A, or on A, we have AP, Magic, Assault, Agility, um, or this is Accuracy right here. Then Assault down here, which is Attack, Dexterity, and I believe this is Crit. Yeah, this is Crit. So I'm going to build a set for Agility right now. So I'm gonna click the little boot. You can see it says Type Speed. I'm gonna make it right here, okay? Don't worry about the passive right now. If you're just going for the set bonuses, you don't need to worry about the passives really. Okay, so then I'm gonna go to T. I'm gonna click the boot as well. You don't wanna be like uh, making one boot, one AP, and one attack. That's not gonna uh, serve you at all. You really wanna choose a set that you wanna go for. So I'm gonna make a second one here in T, which is another uh, agility stone. And then I'm gonna go to G and I'm gonna make the same thing. So now I have crafted an entire set for agility. I'm sure if you guys go in here and check this stuff, you should be able to make an entire set for a TMR. Um, so then I can go back. I'm just gonna go over here to A. Um, right now, if you haven't, um, right now all my stone sets are unlocked. If you go to a new TMR, for example, like this, they're all gonna be locked, right? Um, so I'm just going to show you guys just for the sake of showing you right here. Uh, if you want to unlock it, it is going to cost 50 books of a certain book type. This happens to be sword. Um, I'm going to unlock it just to show you guys. It will cost 50 for each slot. And then once you unlock it, you can equip an MR trust stone, but not a UR trust stone. If you want to equip a UR trust stone, you have to go to enhance. And for me, I just use the gold adamantite. If you bring it to full, it will cost 200 gold adamantite, but you will up, you will upgrade your uh, slot so that it can equip UR trust stones right here. You can use 200 gold or you can use a thousand silver. Um, I think it's a thousand silver. Yeah, it's a thousand silver. Uh, so it's either way, whichever you want to do. I wouldn't worry about using the, the other shards for this. They're pretty important. Um, the adamantite is more or less easy to come by, uh, depending on how often you're farming. Okay, so I'm gonna just revert this back down, go over here, enhance it. Okay, so now right here, this slot can equip UR Trust Stones. So if you wanna equip a full set of UR Trust Stones, you're gonna have to enhance each slot so if you use gold adamantite, it's going to cost 200, 400, 600, 1200 gold adamantite uh, to fully unlock everything. And once you do that, you're going to have something that looks like this. So we just forged three different agility trust stones for A, T, and G on the right side. So I'm just going to go into A, go to set, find the boot, click it, set it. Okay, then go to T, set this and then G, and set it right there. Now, if you look down here on the bone, on the bottom where it says set bonus, now I have agility up three and evasion up five. Um, each of the individual stones has their own stats. As you can see over here, we have uh, plus two accuracy, plus 11 dexterity, three crit, uh, 25 attack, 23 magic, and four AP, along with the random passives that you got from forging them. Um, Every time you forge a trust stone, it will give you a random passive from a, a set list. And I'm going to be um, adding that list in the description below of the video so that you guys can go online, you can check which uh, what they can become when you reroll the passives. But I'm gonna cover more of that in the next video to come, which is like the phase two of trust stone building, which is how to make the super, super gnarly trust stones. Uh, but for this video, I'm just focusing on set bonuses. This should be pretty easy for everyone to do. It doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, it won't take a lot of farming, but it will definitely make your team a lot stronger if you feel like you're struggling in arena uh, or in PVE or in Guild Wars. Uh, this is the very first step that you can do to just make your team stronger. You know, if you have a set of trust stones on each of the TMRs, in your PVP team, 
uh, it's going to make a big difference. Um, you know, this will add up, especially when you start to get into the passes and stuff later on, which you can slowly do. And I'll talk more about that in the next video. Um, so for now, I'm just going to go back. So that was a really easy way to make that set right there. Um, I'm going to show you a different TMR that has a full set on both sides. So like right here, I, you can see that I made for the I, L and P side, I have HP, HP, HP. And then on the right side, I have accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. So the set bonus that I got is max HP plus 5%. All elemental attack resist up five. You click to the right. I also have accuracy up 15. Once you build the trust stone, if that's all you want to do, you don't want to go into the passives. You don't want to go into the, to the craziness of, of making them as good as you can make them. Then you can just go to your trust stone. So we're going to click this G, this random one right here. Um, so yeah, if you're not interested in furthering them, you just want the set bonus, I recommend just leveling it up to 20, okay? Once you level it up to 20, go to temper, um, and then these stats will change once the trust stone becomes level 20. And you know, every time you re-roll it, so I'm just gonna re-roll it right now, it's gonna reallocate these stats. So like, for example, if I was putting this on a DPS unit and it was like a physical attacker like Cloud, I wouldn't really want magic. I would want, you know, attack first, then maybe AP and dex as a secondary stat. So you would just re-roll this and like as you do it, you'll see like as the stats allocate. So you'll, you're looking for a low magic stat because that's gonna give you more points for the other three that you're looking for. And you just re-temper it. It costs 100,000 gil, but I think gil isn't really a problem for anyone anymore in the game, or it shouldn't be. Uh, as you can see, I have like 3 billion. So 100,000 is really not terrible. Um, and you just retemper it until you get to essentially where you want to go. So like, um, but yeah, make sure that, you know, you get the stone to level 20 because it's going to change these raw stats in here. You're going to have to redo it anyway when you get to level 20. Um, and then, yeah, you will have level 20 trust stones. Um, you will have them tempered to the stats you want and you will have the set bonuses. So really that is it. That is phase one of trust stone building. It's super simple. It's not too in depth. Um, and if you guys are interested in how to build the passives more, so like if you go into here, if you look on the left side right here in additional abilities, you can see I have light attack resist of seven, all attack resist debuff, debuff resistance up 25, critical damage up 10, match, magic attack resist up three, max HP up 10%, accuracy 10, immobilize resist 20, luck up 10%, acquired AP up 20%, critical hit rate up five, and you can even get two more passives added on there. Um, this one isn't completely done yet. If you're interested in further building trust stones and going into phase two, uh, keep an eye out for the next video that I drop where I will go into detail about how to do this, how to do it the right way, how to do it in a way where you're not wasting your resources and your materials. And you can slowly build up these TMRs to the point where it will make an enormous impact on your PVP team, whether it's for Guild War, Arena, or even PVE content. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was uh, easy to follow and I hope you guys are looking forward to the next segment where I uh, talk more in depth about phase two trust stones and how to build, you know, what I would consider to be legendary trust stones.